Edmund, right now, Kit is coping the best she can, whether that's with a bottle of liquor or a candlelit room in New Age music. You don't have to approve of her methods. I don't have to stand around and watch Come it. Come on, she had a rough day in court, possibly the roughest day of her life. Uh, yeah, all she needed from you was a little sympathy. S sympathy? You don't think I showed sympathy? You don't think I was supportive of her? I tried to get her to stop drinking. I, I tried to get her out of the bar. I even took her keys. But no, no, no. She preferred to stay there and drown herself in scotch and self-pity. So you just took off? Look, I have done all I could for Kit since the day she blew into town. Oh, yeah, the, the day you stole her car, yeah. I went with her to Kansas and back to see her father. I paid for an attorney to represent her. I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a good friend of mine. Why? Because I believed her. I believed her story, just me. And you don't believe her now? No, that is not what I'm saying. I'm saying I have done all I could. Ah, well, maybe you've done too much. You forced Jackson's hand. Oh, oh, so what? This is all my fault? No, 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 no. Who, who tried to legally get Jack to take the DNA test? Whose idea was it to break into his room? Who set up the press conference outing the entire story? You did. But who had the most to lose if it backfired? Kit. Now, maybe you're backing off now because you're feeling a little guilty. Well, I didn't expect it to go this far. A restraining order? You, you don't remember how hard I fought you? I wasn't going to be strong-armed into letting you test uh, Hugo's DNA, well, legally or not. The more you dug in your heels, the more I pushed, the more you dug in your heels, just like Jackson did today. At least when Kit started, she had hope now. Now she doesn't even have that. for the kid. All right, you got a point, okay? I may have made a tactical error with Jackson. That you initiated. And I will take full responsibility for it. But in terms of Kit turning to the bottle, I mean, that's, that's her doing. Uh, for, forget about it. Right. Subject of a story. You know, that's all, uh, according to the courts, that story has ended. It's a rotten ending. She didn't deserve it. Mm. You know, Edmund, the way I see it, you've got two choices. You can walk away from this human interest story. Or you can finally admit to yourself that you care about her personally and you don't want to give up on her. Simple as that, huh? Edmund, you have been more alive, more engaged in life than you have been in a year. Now, whatever sparked that, I don't want it to slip through your fingers. Now, it, could, it, it, it could be her story. You know, the crusade, Edmund the Good strikes all again. Right, all right, enough, Uncle. It's more than a story. It's more than a crusade, and you and I both know it. <sighs> Kit Fisher was, was a fighter. She wanted to have a new life. She wanted to be, she wanted to be Christine Montgomery. She wanted to belong to a family she could feel proud of. A family she had a connection to. And you know, every time that she would get knocked down, she just kept getting up. And you admired her for that? Yeah, I did. But now she's wallowing in self-pity and self-destruction. Edmund, Kit's life search ended today. She must have been devastated. Now, you can't expect her to bounce back. She's not perfect. None of us are, not even you. I mean, need I remind you uh, that you could call Erica and she'll remind you of how you dealt with my obstinacy? No, no, you want to bet that Kit does not go out and kidnap somebody and stash them in a wine cellar? Look, the way I see it, Kit lost two battles today. One with the court and one with you. 
Hey, she, she lost uh, her family legacy. And she couldn't live up to the lofty expectations of the one friend that she had. I'm gonna go check on the kids. Yeah. Thought you were with Sam and Maddie. Yeah, I was. Uh, it's... It's way past their bedtime. Peggy's putting them down. If you, uh, need some privacy, I could come back? No, no, I was just calling, uh, Kit. She's not in her room. Yeah, you know, it's pretty hard to stare at four walls and, you know, in the state she's in. Okay, okay, you're right. Uh, I am a lousy excuse for a friend. I am a self-righteous jerk. Well, I didn't say any of that, uh, Directly. And if I was any kind of a friend, I would go and check on her, see if she's okay. Did I, did I say all of that? I hate it when you're right. Doesn't happen often. Well, now, where are you going now? <laughs> As if you didn't know. Going back to the bar. How long have you been out here? Okay, sweet. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you out of here, okay? We're gonna take all your stuff. We're gonna put your arm around here. We're gonna walk to your car, okay? Yeah, just, it's me. It's me, man. Okay, just come on. That's it. That's it. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. You just hold on to me real easy. Real easy. That's it, that's it. And we're just gonna walk in there. 